Life comes with a lot of decisions, and it can be hard to know the right path sometimes. A therapist can help you map out what you really want, so you trust yourself to make great choices and feel excited about the future. BetterHelp offers convenient professional online therapy on your schedule, however you want it, by phone, chat, or video call. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash positive today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash positive. Have you been in an accident that wasn't your fault? Feeling overwhelmed and unsure what to do next? Look no further. The personal injury attorneys at Phillips Law Firm are here to help. Phillips Law Firm understands that accidents can turn your life upside down. That's why they're dedicated to fighting for the compensation you deserve and to making the process as stress-free as possible. Don't wait any longer. Call now, 1-800-JUSTICE, or visit justiceforyou.com. Now, the greatest story never told with Miles and Thrill. Oh, hola, and welcome to episode number 16 of The Greatest Story Never Told. We made it to 16 episodes. It's amazing. I know we made it to 16 episodes because I saw the piece of paper you had in front of you that just said episode 16. Which matters uh, not much because uh, by the time this hits the air, I'll say it's episode 17 that's out. But that, but that's all good and, and dandy. Uh, by the way, we, we've been looking uh, very hard for a sponsor for this fine podcast. And a matter of fact, uh, at one point in time, we went in uh, to the big bosses and said, hey, uh, is anyone really going to listen to this? Mm-hmm. And if they do, can we monetize it? In other words, like, look, this is all free. The radio game is free. But ultimately, our job as a company is to figure out a way to raise money and to make money for our company, right? And we're not looking for money for us. It's for charity. And like earlier today, I read, uh, what's it, Joe Rogan, right? So Joe Rogan yeah. does a podcast. He's been doing it since 2009. He's one of the first people to do a significant one because – he was one of the first people whose names you knew yeah. that did a podcast. He does so, a great job, too, man. It's a how great much do you podcast. think he makes a year? Just on the podcast. I mean, pod- off the, off the just podcast? The po- just the podcast. Oh, uh, probably a little less than we do. It is a little bit less. I feel bad for him right now. Poor Joe. They have him ranked as number one because they have not seen how much money we make, obviously. Uh, he's just making, on podcast alone, thirty. Million dollars a year. Well, thank God he won't be living by us then. You know what I mean? Because we make a lot yeah, I don't want to less than that. But it just seemed to us, yeah. as the bosses came to us and said, You should do a podcast. And we had many questions. And they said, For three years, we've had this. And uh, I would have said this about that conversation. They said, For three years, you guys have said this. I said, Well, the other way to look at it is for three years, you haven't answered one question. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I stand, I'll go to my so grave with said, that. So so, said, but, but here we are. And for whatever reason, for whatever reason, the company has decided. That this is unimportant. This is not worth. Meanwhile, apparently people are downloading the living hell out of yeah. us. All right, so, so we get this number, and Miles and I are like, "What?" But the idea is to get a sponsor, and since our sales team won't do it, we decide. You know what? We'll do your job for you. We can, just like you guys go in the air for us and do things for us. We'll go ahead and do this for you. Sure, sure. So we decided, like, look, if you want to sponsor our podcast, which is awesome, then you go and you make a donation to the Fisher House. That's right? it. Does it come through us? Hell no. No. We don't want the paperwork on that. It's not that. Do you realize how big of a deal that is? Like, you can go to the Fisher House website and donate. And if you want to send us a screenshot of your donation, then you will become an official Greatest Story Never Told podcast sponsor. It's just that easy. Yeah, it really is. It's almost like we should work in sales. So we have a few emails. And by the way, thank you, because we didn't think anyone was actually listening. We we really did not believe anyone was listening. And then these emails came pouring in, and it has blown our mind. And keep in mind, 100% of this. He goes to the Fisher House. This is not yeah. for us. It's just the idea. Of like, guys, you know, it is business. Right. And you, you even have people that you call, and I'm not trying to be mean, because I honestly, by name, I don't know who this person is here. Mm-hmm. You have somebody called a business manager. Whoever they are, they're terrible. I mean, right, you suck at your job, because here this is. Yeah. And and one of the reasons that we have a difficult time getting guests, and understand this to be to be true, they said, you guys are great storytellers. For whatever reason, we don't believe that, because we've been doing that for a long whatever. time. Right? Yeah, it's just what we do. But uh, go in there, man. And tell the stories that you have never been able to talk about. Why? And that seems great. Like, that's a great idea. We have so many stories. And then you look at a timeline. Yeah. And timelines reflect all kinds of things outside of the workspace. It's called incrimination. Miles and I had this conversation about a week ago. He said, look, man. uh, So we're trying to do our best. We have 
prob honestly probably 80 stories that would be worth your time listening to right uh that we could tell and i go yeah 75 of them like man if we okay i'll tell, we tell, tell you it now if we tell it now we're in trouble i'll tell you one story when we get done with these emails we're gonna do one story real quick just to give you an idea of how we have to shift through this thing because th- there's a lot of incriminating things not that we're bad people but, just but we're in, bad people. But, but, but there's it, incriminating, but, there's illegal, yes. there's, all, there's kinds all kinds of things. There's all kinds of things that make this, uh, it's hard because <laughs> you're incriminating yourself, okay? Think about your friend. Think about the friend that you do stuff with, all right? Think about all the things you've done and think about how little of it you would willingly open up okay. and tell the cops. So In Miles meantime, and I have this history where we've had a very great time together. We have done many fun things together. Uh, it, there are certain things that, that Miles and I remember very specifically, we still get a great laugh out of it. <laughs> but I'm like, bro, we can never. We, we can't can go home and never, say, hey, guess what happened to me? We can never, no. ever, right, okay. ever open our mouths and tell the story. Like, and, and everyone's got those. But the premise of this is to go and do that. And we have a lot of them. So, yeah, we, we, so we try to best. So, okay, anyway, on to the podcast sponsorship. Uh, and thank you for these emails. Wait, we, I'm sorry. We need podcast sponsorship music. I, I don't. Play. I don't. I don't have. You anything. have something. I, I don't have it. You have something. You have music beds for everything. You know what? This is not really worthy of any of that stuff. But these are people that want to help out the Fisher House via the podcast. That's as worth it as it gets, man. Okay. All right. What's your favorite? Jesus uh, Christ! Some decent people actually listen to this. All right. Uh, we're reading a story the other day about uh, Nicolas Cage. He's actually doing a story that's based on him playing Nicolas Cage. Uh, what's he, your favorite Nicolas Cage movie, Mike? Of all time. Of all time. Probably going to be, uh, you know what? I'm going to go Con Air on this one. Con Air? Yeah. Everybody Have you watched Raising Air. Arizona? No, I've never seen Raising Arizona. Are you kidding me? No. All right. Wow. This we're, is the music, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to Nick Cage this. First uh, email sponsor. Love you guys. Have been uh, since uh, October 10th, 2010. Moved to Seattle from Germany, and your show was yeah. on the rental car radio when I drove from SeaTac to JBLM. I spent 10 years in the Army. Love the fact that you guys raise money for the Fisher House. Since I've gotten out, every time I raise money, it's for the Fisher House because yeah. it's a great cause, great foundation. While I don't raise a ton of money, uh, matter, everything man. counts. I'd like to sponsor the Greatest Story Never Told podcast for 100 bucks. Oh, I'm going to oh. send that uh, in a Venmo and cash. Send it to the Fisher House. I actually uh, made the news to tell my story passing out ice cream uh, for the Fisher House. And if you Google it, it is Ellie Duckett Ice Cream. And he was actually out there doing a great job. So he wants to sponsor the show. That's from Ellie. Man, thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. That is very <laughs> cool. uh, Let's see here. Uh, what else we got? Uh, guys, hello. Uh, my name is... Uh, Jake Pinnell. Hey, Jake Pinnell. I'd like to sponsor your podcast, The Great Story Never Told, for 100 bucks. Oh, oh. I don't have, oh. A, I don't have a business yet. No I'm matter. in the startup stages of creating my own sauce company. Sauce? I'm glad to help you fellas uh, not get fired. Wait, what kind of sauce? Jake, we will do our men's room secret sauce for you. And it's going to look like a... Mm, Yogurt. Hey, dude. But with a more of a pearl texture. It's going to look like if you whipped egg, egg yolks. Bring us some of your sauce. I would like or to whites. try your sauces. I do like, I'm a big sauce yeah, and mustard and condiment excited. guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, more uh, sponsorships. These are crazy. Uh, my name is Nick. Hey, Nick. Uh, I'm friends with a sponsor of The Greatest Story Never Told, <laughs> episode 13. Awesome. Uh, Blake kept telling me to listen to podcasts until my lazy ass finally got around to doing it uh, on radio.com. I'm still uh, getting caught up on all the episodes. Would like to keep the momentum going on with some sponsorships. I would like to become a community sponsor of the Ooh. next episode of The Greatest Story Never Told. I don't even know what that means. I say a community sponsor because I would like to invite other listeners to join in and sponsor me. I'll donate 10 bucks to the Fisher House for my sponsor. Always uh, thought it was cool. The men's room made for Fisher House. But yeah, for how is sales hard? I mean, and look, no, I'm going to be honest. I don't know much about Because uh, they're not what, listening to the product. I don't know. No, seriously. Here's why sales is hard. Because the product that they're selling, they're not listening to, so they don't know the product. Like, if we work for Coke, mm-hmm. guess what we would drink? Coca-Cola. Oh, yeah. And we know everything about it, and then we go out and sell that. So really, really important to know the product. And huh. to taste it. And There's something to do that. Because this does not seem that hard. No, it really doesn't. If you guys would like help, let me know. I just want part of your commission. That's we, all. We can go let me just take it from you. Since you're go, not going to do it, we'll we, do we it. We can go into the sales meetings. You want? Hola, guys. Uh, a local rock band from Everett. 
We are uh, loving the epic stories on The Greatest Story Never Told. We would love the opportunity to sponsor an episode of The Greatest Story Never Told with 10 American dollars. Give it up for them. 10 American oh. dollars. By the way, this all goes to fishers. Right? What about this? What if we invite the band to play instrumentally behind us on yeah. one of our future podcasts, right? I mean, seriously, yeah. we have a musical better than this garbage you're playing and right now, Miles. Get. It says uh, for 10 bucks, mm-hmm. it, so so know your advertising dollars being spent well as a donation to Fisher House. On a side note, we have two shows coming up in February. We'd love to see if you guys are interested. The first one is at Tony V's Garage in Everett on February oh, 15th. Mike, I played it. All right, so. The day after Valentine's Day. Keep in mind, if you get two tickets to the show, even though it's the day after Valentine's Day. You still get laid. Oh, man, this is a great idea. A couple of years ago, probably about 10, 11, 12 years ago, uh, myself, Ted, a couple of the guys at the station, we played a show at Tony V's. And everyone up north loves Tony V's, right? But Tony V's is Tony V's. We go there. The place is great. The owner was awesome. I, the acoustics are great. The show was great. But before we played, I'm smoking in an alley. Ted is also smoking in an alley. We are smoking different things, and then we kind of trade. And the guy that lives there walks up to us and goes, hey, man, I'm glad you guys are up here. I'm like, bro, I couldn't be happier. This is fantastic. And he says, hey, man, you see that dumpster over there? I'm like, sure. So this dumpster's like on the other side of the alley from the back alley of Tony, or side alley of Tony V's. We're like, yeah, what about it? He's like, I don't know if you heard about what happened never last night, which we had. That's the dumpster that they found the body. Just to give you an idea. Yeah. Just give you an idea. Tony V's. Second show is on February 22nd at the Aurora Borealis in Shoreline. If you did not know, those are uh, lights mm-hmm. that appear in the north. Uh, by the way, the name of the band is uh, Into May. They have donated uh, 10 bucks. Uh, please send us uh, the sizes of your shirts and where to send them. We'll send you a shirt. That from the guys in Into May. Into May, thank you so much for the free T-shirts, to be honest with you. We'd rather have you send us drugs. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, that's serious. We, we like the one thing that we get out of this gig, we don't get crap as far as anything like health insurance is, is minimal. Uh, we get it, we have to pay for it, doesn't help. Uh, t shirts, we get. So, if you could, if you know a good Coke dealer or a guy who's got some really good homemade weed uh, or a homemade hooch, uh, we will take any, any of that that you have because you know, like, we're not, we're not taking money. The money goes to the Fisher House. We will, however, take your drugs. I'll take your stuff. I think that's fair. For sure. Do all more? Just more emails. Yeah, okay. While listening to The Greatest Story Never Told, you yahoos made it clear <laughs> that you possibly are looking toward a sponsor for the podcast. We did not possibly make it clear. We openly said we need sponsors because our sales team sucks. We might be interested. Sorry, Thrill. Sorry, Miles. No tea time. No shoes for you, Thrill. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, but you need to find a better restaurant. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm disappointed. You could probably fill a sock upon uh, smelling butter on white rice. (laughs) We specialize in the plants commonly known as kratom, specifically superior kratom or kratom. What What? I don't know what that is. With our products, we are currently helping vets with getting their life back together from PTSD, getting grandmas off the pain pills. Yeah. Allowing the people the chance to reclaim themselves with a natural plant. Who is a close cousin to the coffee tree? You're going to be gunned down by the mm-hmm. government. They don't like yeah. stuff like yeah. this. Uh, check out our testimonials. You guys are interested. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks, guys. I'm whopping for what you do. Signed, uh, Joshua, the offens- uh, official men's room uh, cracktum consultant, co-CEO of Affordable Serenity. All right. Well, Affordable. You, could, okay. you know what, man? Josh, you got to go at least donate like 10 bucks. You know, you mean, what, what, what are we doing here? Oh, we're, we're not good on time. It. We're good? Okay. okay. We're good. Can, I, can I read more emails? Yeah, we're good. Hi, Mike. Hi. Thank you for asking Miles to read my email on the air. You're welcome. And for accepting my business as the official sponsor of The Greatest Story Never Told. You're welcome. This is unbelievable what we got here. I know nothing about this. No, this is true. No, this, I like it. It doesn't matter to me, man. I dig it. This is this is one of the bigger donations we've gotten. Okay. Right. So we're going to official. Uh, this is the official sponsor of this podcast. My payment of five dollars oh, to the Fisher House. Oh. Their payment portal did not send a receipt, so please accept <laughs> the following: a screenshot of the transaction in the banking history, uh, attached totally legitimate photo of the men's room holding a giant check with my name on it, which he fudged. That was we our, need that was a giant check festival, for five bucks, and he yeah. made it so there was a five dollar check. 
Very much looking forward to it. The next episode of the podcast from men's room listeners like me who started with the episode one on the buzz. It was absolutely fantastic and a great nostalgia trip. The vocal minority episode is especially amazing. <laughs> I remember listening to that amazing radio live as it happened. Side note, if you ever release those best of episodes about to lunch, I would consume every single one. To the Ted Smith, put on your dancing shoes and hat and get ready for some fun. I'd be happy to extend the same offer to the podcast. You know, who's been on the air for five, six, seven, eight, nine years. Yeah, no know. sponsors. They didn't ask for it. That's why we went to the boss and said, Hey, is this worth the time? That's all. Is it? Are they really going to sell it? We don't know. No, because yes. they haven't. But they are. That's how we know. But they are. That's why we're doing it. For those $5, they're not rolling in. They're not going to play this in the sales meeting, by the way. Uh, P.S. You would not believe the number of checks I've gotten uh, as a direct result of the David Lee Roth isolated vocals. Did he say? <laughs> are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Miles, we please tell a story about your new butt. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. I know. So, okay, I here's one. Yeah. Here's one. Honest to God truth. Okay, and so this is out of the box of of being PC and cool. All right, so me and Steve, I probably do not know your rope, I don't know what you're going to tell. We uh, no, this is a story that 2004. Uh, I'm cool. 225 bucks so far. Yeah. Oh, hey, hell. 225 dollars. Where Where's the people at? Where are the people at? That's amazing. Because you know what? That's 225 bucks. They didn't have before we started this podcast. 100% correct. Those correct. are rough numbers. They're in the yeah. back there. They're we have figured out everything. a way to monetize this podcast, unlike our company, mm-hmm. which is simply amazing, although we're not seeing the money. Okay, so um, we decide that we want to go see this game. I cannot remember the actual football game, but we want to go see the Ravens play, and it's an M&T Bank Stadium. All right? So we go down kind of looking for tickets. We don't have any. By the way, we worked for the Ravens flagship. In other words, we work for the company that has these tickets. Mm-hmm. I ran their broadcast for three years. Correct. I had to interview players for three years. Right. Yep. But when it comes time to get tickets to go to the game, mm-hmm. you can't get them. CBS Radio can't do it. Right. I'm very glad our company bought these cheap yeah. sons of bitches. For an example, Mike, uh, you, do, you do know that we have uh, season tickets for the Seahawks here. Of course. Have you been? One preseason mm-hmm. game. You got tickets to the Seahawks? Pre-season. Was it lottery? What? It was lottery. Lottery. It was lottery. Do lottery you know where those, one you, preseason game. Do you know where those tickets go? Yes. Where do they go? <laughs> uh, my guess would be sales. Okay. To the to the people that they would uh, would love to uh, advertise what with do, our What do sales sell? Why would I give my money to people that are the second tip of the spear? How about the uh I don't the know. I, I always want to arm yeah. my, the front of the line. With the bet. Now, I get it. It's a corporation. Sometimes we have to People tell like the front of the line not to come to sales meetings because it might F stuff up. Mm-hmm. But Code, these, okay. tell the truth. Okay, so here we go. Okay, it's so, a podcast. We don't care. So, so you what? wanted us to do it. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. So in 17 years, nothing has changed. Yeah. We don't see these tickets. We don't go to the games. There's a reason we're not Seahawks fans. We used to have season tickets. It's just hard to get in. But guess who goes? It's a podcast. No one's listening. Anyway, uh, so same situation in Baltimore some 20 years ago. So if you're wondering, the radio landscape has not changed. No, right. We can't get in. Radio likes to tell we us all things right. change. Nothing has changed. Right, right. They like to get paranoid yeah. so they can pretend they solved a problem that never existed. That's radio's yeah. way, right? Radio's been the same for like 50 years. Right. And everyone you talk to in radio would say like, oh, my God, we're in danger. I'm like, you're in danger because you suck. Mm-hmm. Like anything, and I don't care what you do for a living, if you choose to be good and take the time to put the effort in, you're fine. Radio won't do it. They go, man, we want to pass this test with 100%, yep. but we don't want to study. And you go like, okay, like I'd say mm-hmm. to my children, yeah, this is on you. Do a good job. I don't right. sweat it. I don't worry yep. about yep. it. Yep. I care about what I do. So we don't have tickets again. So we decide we're going to go scalp tickets. Now, this is problematic in Baltimore. Because black white. and white people cannot be friends. I am friends. white. Steve is black. We cannot be friends. This is not In a Baltimore, this, this is an impossibility right. that this is So we roll up to some scalpers, and then we, uh, we, 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 we don't get the tickets. Do you know why, Mike? Because you're white and he's black? No, because oh. I'm white and I'm a cop. <laughs> that, right, that's it. Now, keep in mind, they said we – now, I want you to understand how people perceive Me. the Baltimore police a force. A cop. We're both undercover cops, but the white dude is the one that will arrest us. All right, so under, we're trying to get the tickets. 
You guys, plural, are cops. We go through 45 minutes. Trying, like, dude, we reek of weed, all right? And this is way before weed could possibly be legal. Like, we reek of weed. We're stoned. We are drunk. We honestly just want to go to the goddamn game. These two dudes, two brothers, man, they will not do it. But we are persistent. And at this point, all of their other options have dried up. Everyone else is in the game. So if you want to sell these tickets, there's the two, quote, unquote, cops you're looking at, me and Miles. Or you don't sell them. So finally, this is what it came down to. And keep in mind, this is not a legal defense. Legally, this strategy does not work. But we're in Baltimore where people are not the brightest bulbs in your chandelier. So what he came up with, like, all right, all right. Look. You, being me, the brother, I'll give the tickets to you, but white boy has to stay back there. I apparently am the white boy at this point. <laughs> and I remember even saying to the guy, I'm I like, didn't even know I was white. I but no idea. if we're both cops, you realize, like, this makes no difference. Like, a cop's a cop's a mm-hmm. cop's a cop. He can be white, he can be black, whatever. He's like, man, I just don't trust him. I'm like, yeah. all right, man. So they sell us tickets. And they lost money on it because if they sold them to us when we approached them, you get scalper price. But I had to walk Once away. there is kickoff. I had to walk away. The best you get is game price. Incidentally, the game, and we did not know this in advance. No one could possibly know. Uh, Jamal Lewis, the Ravens running back at the time, yep, yep. broke the single-season NFL rushing record for a game. And to this he day. He ran over the Cleveland yes. Browns like they weren't there. And, but we don't, But as we're negotiating with this guy, I came on, we're in ball, all we hear in the background is, <sighs> we're like, man, we don't know something good. We walked in, it's already like 21 nothing, whatever the hell. Mm-hmm. But yet, because my... So keep in mind, this is Baltimore logic. I know you're both cops. They're wrong about that. Okay. But I don't trust so the So Jamal man. Lewis runs for all those yards. We mm-hmm. go and we see the game. Jamal Lewis to this day does not know he did that. No. Which is a shame because he's a great guy. He's just having his hard time. So uh, we leave. Uh, here's where like we, we get back to the point of should we tell these stories or not. We are obviously not in the right mind to drive. Okay. Fair I enough. didn't drive. I know. This yeah, is on me. Yeah, this is on me because I drove, right? So I drove my car in there, and on the way out, I determined <laughs> that I'm going to cut a corner. <laughs> in underneath, a, my, my, uh, it's an indoor parking garage. It's a parking garage. garage. You right. don't cut corners in a parking yeah, garage. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, I can make this. So I scraped the entire roof of my car <laughs> off <laughs> underneath the parking garage. In the meantime, Steve's got a bowl in his hand of mine that I've had since <laughs> I've been about 15 years old. It's like this Montezuma Mexican looking yeah, thing, The right? cop comes up, and I can see him walking toward our car. And we're, we're still in the parking garage, all right? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Just one qualification before you throw me under the bus, and you're right. I am I'm, the one who's, no, no, I'm the one who's no, admitting wait. a fallacy as far as, like, absolutely something I would never do now. But after we hit the BMW, Miles. Oh, I forgot no, about wait. that. I forgot Miles about that. Oh, want, man. Miles oh, wanted to gun it no, out of the parking lot. No, no, Did not want to take ah, it. <laughs> so I'm like, see, go, these are the go. These no, are wait. The, these are the difficulties with these stories. But then the cop steps in front of the car. Of the car. So when you say he's walking toward the car, he was, but the cop already understood that this was going to be a hit and run. Okay. Because Ma- no, wait. Miles wanted mm-hmm. to gas and get the hell out. The cop recognizes this and stops us, then approaches the so, car. But please so continue. This. You look over at the passenger, right? You, you see the person sitting in the seat. The passenger has a knee uh, up and an elbow on the knee <laughs> with a bowl lit and smoking. When you got me high, Miles, that's entirely And he's your holding fault. it because he's enjoying it, you know. <laughs> and he keeps just hitting it. And I'm like, the cop is walking up to the car. Put the f- <laughs> bowl away. All right? Put the fucking bowl away. Pretty easy shit, right? Okay. So for some reason, the guy, we roll down the windows. We're like, hey, buddy, what's that up? That for some reason, a cop approached the car after witnessing a hit and he wanted said, to be said, run. Do you guys know anything about That's him? why he came up Do you guys know car. anything about him that being done? No, no. No. I don't know. I'm too stoned to know. I don't know how. <laughs> I do not know how. He went, okay. <laughs> Dude, I we were visibly drunk. Definitely stone. No, the Smoke whole car. rolls out of it's the car. Hot box. <laughs> right. The whole car. I have hit a car. I have taken the roof off the top of the car. I have done all this. And you saw us hit it. And That's you why you stopped the, us. The whole thing is going But on. our excuse was, yeah, I don't know. Like, so, okay. If you learn anything <laughs> from episode 16, please, please, seriously, because we're still alive and it wasn't cool. Don't drink and drive. Don't smoke weed and drive. It's not cool. 
Did yeah, I, did but I pull we that say off this after we and listen. I know. It's what I'm saying. Listen, like, it, like these no, stories, like, no, they no. want us to tell these stories, but they're but not. You're they're not going PC. to. They're not PC. They're not cool. Well, that's a problem. Is and, and, and again, we're not joking. So every time we do this podcast, Miles and I get together and go, Jesus Christ, man! Like that's really what story can about we tell? Like we we are not telling this story. We're not telling this story. We're not telling. I, I think the fair average would say four out of five that we remember. Like, we cannot tell this. We can't do it. Man. Mike, have you ever been to a Mariners game on acid? Of course not. Okay, I prefer not to tell that story, but it was the best <laughs> game ever. Right. I mean, it's just. It was the best game ever. Listen, there's things that have happened that people don't need to know. Yeah. And Nikki Six, a couple of years ago from Motley Crue, put out his book, The Heroin Diaries. We don't do heroin, it's not that, but it was an interesting read. He says his perception, and then he gets perceptions from everyone else involved at the time. And I'm like, mm-hmm. one day, yeah. we're going to do that. Because so, what you don't know is 8,000% more than what you think you do know, because we're not good people. Uh, yeah. We've got problems. And, and, just, and just know this, and this is the honest God truth. The reason behind this podcast is, is that initially we thought, well, it just wouldn't be about us. We would get guests on, and they would tell stories. Oh, and your they, police officers tell me, like, hey, man. You that know, they've never told before. You know, and 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 with complete, uh, you know, you could be anonymous, whatever. Uh, but we would tell, like, a flea came on and told a story about whatever. Right, right, right. Like that, that's fine. But the goal was that if you wanted to tell a story that you've never thought that you were able to tell, if, as long as the statute of limitations is clear. Uh, by the way, do legal research on that. Uh, I took my friend's advice on one thing I will not mention now. Right. They were incorrect. If you have a story Not good. that you've always wanted to tell, and, we're, and we're, we, we will screen these appropriately, send us an email to the men's room at mensroomlive.com. Make the subject the greatest story never told, and tell us that you would like to get in contact with us so that you can tell something that, you know, whether it's harmless, whether it's whatever it is. Funny, but you, harmless, but, get it but off you, your chest. But you've never told the story. Uh, shoot us an email to the men's room at mensroomlive.com. And we are so happy to have all the wonderful sponsors. By the way, thank you guys, man. If you go to the That's Fisher House cool. website, um, they do an amazing job of help, helping our veterans. If you just enjoyed the podcast and you want to go there and donate five bucks, you want to donate 10 bucks, if you donate $11, you can be an official sponsor. I think 10 is the cutoff. I think 10 uh, is a nice donation. I think 11 gets you official sponsorship on this week's podcast. Now, to prove that you're an official sponsor, we have nothing. What do we do? We should get some stickers. You can need to send what us a picture stickers? of your bare butt, and then we'll no, know. No, no, do yeah. not do that. Yeah, yeah. Do send not us do a that. shot do of your ass. Do not do that. And uh, you'll be our official sponsor. And then we'll get Mike on to sell some of his dirty stories that he has not been able to tell. Obviously, Mike is now engaged, so he can get into a lot of the shenanigans as far as what happened in Spokane and some other things when we were out. So we'll get to that another time. You've been listening to The Greatest Story Never Told with Miles and Thrill on Radio.com. Oh, man! A Double Flush Production.